from an operations perspective, the job now in, you know, as we're building the instruments and conceiving of the instruments, designing them and so forth, is the operations job is to get in there and say, um, well, if you, if you really want to do that with your instrument, you have to provide us these capabilities so that we can ma make your instrument do that um, from the ground. Because a lot of times, you know, the scientists or the engineers, you know, they want to go a certain way and make things happen a certain way. And then you figure out you can't operate it. So uh, a lot of it now up front is just being involved and being able to tell them, um, you know, no, 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 you, you have to do something more like this so that we, we can do our jobs later on and, and get you what you need. And then once, once we launch and once we're on orbit, that's when operations really takes off. Um, and actually, you know, even before that, as, as we're integrating things now and as um, the spacecraft start coming together, we have uh, whole periods of time to do mission simulations. So, you know, we know we have to orchestrate all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff to orchestrate. So we put all those cap capabilities and commands and things together, and then we run them on the spacecraft while they're here on the ground so that we can work, hopefully work out any problems so that, you know, once we're on orbit, um, we're better prepared. And then we also see how, how each system reacts, because each system is, is a whole collection of different sets of electronics and software, and they'll all have their own personalities. And so getting insight into that now will help us when we're on orbit. But then once we're on orbit, you know, that, that's when all the fun happens. I didn't start out in, in kind of this realm, but um, I, I actually got my degree in electrical engineering. Uh, but I, I focused a lot on software development. So um, early in my career, I did a lot of flight software development and was actually um, lucky enough to be involved in a space flight program. So, you know, putting software on an instrument and on a, a spacecraft system and then launching it and then. Uh, running it while it was actually on orbit. And what I found was I really enjoy kind of the, the bringing all the pieces together and the working through the problems um, because nothing ever goes exactly as you plan, uh, you know, during test and during orbit. So figuring out, you know, what's going on and, you know, how to fix it and how to make things work correctly um, is the part that just really interests me the most. And a lot of it is all problem solving. So from an engineering background, you know, a lot of the basics of engineering is, is problem solving. And then I also, um, you know, got a master's degree in engineering management, which is kind of the people management side of things. <laughs> and so a lot of this job, too, is interacting with all kinds of different people. You know, you have scientists, this is, this is my baby instrument, you know, <laughs> and I know best. So you have to interact with them and, and kind of work with them and let them know, you know, well, maybe we want to do things just slightly differently. Um, and then you also have people, you know, down to the students that we have that will have at last who will be actually issuing the commands to the instruments. So you have all kinds of variety of people um, to interact with. And, and I guess I, I find that, you know, those two aspects is the most interesting part of the, of the job. I would say, you know, having having the math background, having the science background, um, is is incredibly helpful. You know, even if you're not crunching equations every day, um, it's just the logistics of being able to know how to solve problems um, is is incredibly helpful, and it, it's it's fun. So, so you know, being able to, to put things together. So anything you can take, um, you know, any things as far as, you know, robotics type classes where you're actually applying the, the knowledge that you learn in school is, is incredibly helpful or, or any types of jobs or internships where you can actually, you know, work on, on something real to see how, you know, what you're learning um, what you use and, and how you apply that to, to solve problems will be very beneficial and very helpful.